Now we head on to the presidential race where things are certainly heating up in these short few weeks up until Election Day. ABC's Christian Cordero tells us what the candidates are doing to turn the tide as we go over the next month. In suburban Pennsylvania Wednesday, Vice President Harris pitched common ground to an audience of mostly Republicans. At stake in this race are the democratic ideals that our founders and generations of Americans before us have fought for. Harris continued to blast Trump as a threat to democracy at the rally and during a contentious interview with Fox News, a network that frequently criticizes her and praises her opponent. You've been vice president for three and a half years. So what are you turning the page from? Well, first of all, turning the page from the last decade in which we have been burdened with the kind of rhetoric coming from Donald Trump that has been designed and implemented to divide our country and have Americans literally point fingers at each other. She repeatedly turned attention to Trump, calling into question his mental fitness. Trump and taking questions from Latino Americans at a Univision town hall was asked about January 6th and, and regarding the violent mob that injured police officers, vandalized the Capitol and called for the hanging of Mike Pence if he certified the election results, Trump said this. This was a tiny percentage of the overall, which nobody sees and nobody, nobody shows. But that was a day of love. And when asked if he could explain his gun control policy to the parents of school shooting victims, Trump doubled down on the Second Amendment. I, had no I think that uh, if you ever tried to get rid of it, the, uh, you wouldn't be able to do it. You wouldn't be able to take away the guns because people need that for security. On reproductive rights, Trump suggested some states need to redo the exceptions on abortion laws and coined himself as the father of IVF, which Harris said was bizarre. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.